Hello and welcome, my name is Israel Lopez and in this video I'm going to talk about fishbowl scheduled tasks but about Java classes. So this is a part video for our developer training kind of preview. Uh, one of the common things that people don't know about in fishbowl is how extensible it can be. So here's what I want to do is kind of go through uh, soups and nuts, very simple hello world of uh, being able to create a scheduled task in fishbowl. So what a schedule task is in Fishbowl is if you go to setup, or excuse me, setup schedule, you'll come to the schedule task uh, menu. You have to log in as Fishbowl admin in order to see this. When you click on new, there's an option in here for Java class. Now if you go to the Fishbowl wiki, I'll bring that over here, Java class uh, basically step stipulates that you have to implement the IFB runnable interface in order for it to run. And that has to be compiled. Uh, in the fishbowl server where the plugins folder of the installations directly is, av is available. So if I were to go look at that right now, uh, see program files fishbowl 2016.6, I have multiple installations, plugins, and here you go. So it's empty. So I can then put in uh, classes, jar files, uh, dependencies in here, and fishbowl will run them. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into our um, to my favorite Java editor, IntelliJ, and we're going to create the official project necessary to do a very basic IFB runnable. Uh, I'm doing this for my own training, but also to show other people that uh, it can be possible, and if you need us to help you, we're more than happy to help. So we're going to create a new project, and in this case, I've already configured IntelliJ to use Java 1.7, specifically Update 21, uh, only because this is the uh, version of, up, of Java that Fishbowl is currently using, so we're going to stay with that. And we're not going to use any of the additional libraries or frameworks. We're just going to be a very, very, very basic Java uh, project. Uh, we're not going to do a command line app. We're not going to do hollow world. We're going to keep that as is. And then we're going to set this as a test uh, uh, scheduled, scheduled task. OK, here we have a basic project. First thing we're going to do is go to File, Project Structure, and we're going to set up the references for um, for this project. Now I've already set up some global libraries in the past for Fishbowl 2016.5, 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. So you want to make sure you've uh, set that up ahead of time. If you want to do a new one from now, you can click on the uh, green plus Java. We're then going to go navigate over to Fishbowl. Oops, ah, that's, that, that's not gone well. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. This is what I get for uh, being too hot to a uh, thing. We'll just navigate in this case. We'll just navigate all these other project, too many software projects. We're going to go to C, Broken Files, 2016.6, lib. That's the path. Okay, we're going to add it to our test schedule ta uh, task module. And we're going to rename this as Fishbowl 2016.6. Okay. And then that's really it. Click Apply. Let that work. Okay, now we're here. So I'm going to create a pro pro package. Com ILC Fishbowl test. This should be enough. And then we're going to create a new class under this as hello world hello world scheduler okay and then as um, our instructions from the official wiki says we must implement IFB runnable okay so we're gonna do that Loop that scan I'm actually thinking of pausing the video here while uh, IntelliJ scans and we'll pick back up once it's finishing scanning Okay, we're back. Uh, and JLJ has finished uh, indexing and scanning all the uh, modules we've added. Uh, now we've actually um, been able to uh, see that IFV runnable needs to be created. So we're going to do Control Enter, Import Class, and then same thing, imp Implement Methods, uh, Run. And really that's it. Now, um, if we want to actually do anything here, we have to make our own connections to outside resources. There's, uh, I don't think there's any, there's not any uh, 
any ability to have any fishbowl connections here. Uh, this is all pretty uh, pretty standard. Uh, there's some other classes out there, but this is the one that uh, if you want everything to work correctly, you have to then do your own connections to the database, read only, please, and maybe your own connections to the fishbowl API that you can use, or maybe you have some um, connections to the database where you pull some data out, then transform that into some uh, web service call, anything. You've got full Java, um, really world's your oyster. Go ahead and do that. So, but what we're, what we're going to do is actually we're going to throw new uh, exception. Uh, hello world. And the reason why I do this is because if there is uh, no exceptions thrown in the uh, in the actual class, then uh, there will just say success in the fishbowl uh, scheduled task. And I'll show you how that works. And then we'll go ahead and run that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is make this a uh, uh, jar. So we're going to go back to project structure. We're going to go to artifacts. We're going to click on jar and we're going to say empty. We're going to say hello world scheduler. We're going to get our compiled output, bring that over. We're going to build this on make and we're going to put this into our fishbowl plugins directory because why, why put it anywhere else? And we're gonna click on apply. Okay, click OK. We're gonna rebuild this project. Give it a second. Let all two cores of my, you know, i7 do its thing. Okay, cool. That's good. If we navigate back over to our uh, folder, then we have this uh, jar. If we open this in 7-zip, um, you, you know Java. It's all gonna be here, and there it is. Fantastic. So next thing we're going to do is go back to Fishbowl and we're actually going to go ahead and create a new task, a uh, schedule task. So we're going to go to Java class. Next, we're going to give us a name, hello world. Description, hello world. And then we're going to have a Java class. And so we got to put in the full path. So we're going to get the package and then paste and then our actual class, hello world scheduler. And parameters. Um, I'm just going to do 1 equals 1 for now because I know I've had some problems in the past, but you may be able to get away with no parameters. And we're going to click on next. Uh, daily is fine. Nothing bad's going to happen with daily. And we're going to click on finish. If we run this now by selecting the item and clicking the green play button or triangle, play, uh, we'll get an error. And the error is class not found. Now, but it's there, but it's not. The reason why it's not is that Fishbowl um, server is currently running um, after the class has been added, so it's, it still doesn't know that it's there. So what I'm going to do is restart Fishbowl, and then we're going to try this again, and then you'll see that it'll actually work. Okay, we're back. Uh, Fishbowl server has been restarted, so we should be able to go to our uh, scheduled task and see if it'll run okay. Okay, we're going to click on play. And that's it. That's really it. We're we're done. <laughs> that's it. It uh, works. We got the hello world. So what that's done is ran, ran our Java class and uh, uh, within the fishbowl context, uh, we could even schedule this for every five minutes or what have you. Um, bear in mind that currently in fishbowl 2016.6, um, everything's in a single scheduled queue task. So if you have everything running, maybe you have five tasks to run every uh, five minutes. Um, at some point, if task A takes 5, 10, 10 minutes to complete, it will hold up all the other tasks, and the other tasks will miss their their windows. So uh, there's been some talk about making these tasks um, asynchronous so that they'll run on their own um, and complete on their own. Um, that might be important for certain things, but um, other projects and situations may require things to be in a synchronous um, method. So anyway, that's uh, that's more developer talk that, that may or not be relevant, but if you're trying to look and do some uh, automation within Fishbowl, keep it within Fishbowl, keep it within Fishbowl's Java um, uh, platform. Uh, scheduled tasks are a fantastic way to do it. Thanks and have a good day.